Hi guys, this is Mike with ECS Tuning, and today we're going to show you how to install the new ECS Tuning Billet Aluminum Oil Filter Housing. For this installation, you will need a torque wrench, a 14 millimeter box wrench, a T25 torch driver, a 3 8 ratchet, a 3 8 extension, a 14 millimeter socket, a 36 millimeter socket, and a 6 millimeter Allen. Another good tool to have, but is not required, is the Schwaben drain plug tool. Included in this kit, you'll receive the ECS tuning Villa Aluminum oil filter housing, an aluminum washer, and a drain plug. Today we'll be demonstrating on a 2008 Mark V GTI with 27,000 miles. To get to the oil filter housing, we'll have to remove the plastic skid plate from underneath the car. To do this, use your T25 Torx driver to remove the eight screws that hold the skid plate up to the car. To remove the skid plate, pull down and away from the front bumper. As you can see, after only 27,000 miles, the OEM housing is starting to show signs of wear and starting to seep oil. The next step in this installation would be to remove your OEM drain plug by unscrewing it with your hand. Next, we're going to remove the oil from the oil filter housing. To do this, I'm going to use a Schwab and drain tool. Now that we've drained the oil, we're going to remove the OEM filter housing. I'm using a 36 millimeter socket, a 3 8 extension, and a 3 8 ratchet. Now the problem with your OEM housing is that it can easily crack or seep oil due to simple things such as using the wrong tools, over tightening, or regular heat cycles. The OEM oil filter housing required the use of a plastic check valve to be able to drain the oil out of the housing. Over time, this valve could become loose or start leaking. Also, a special tool would be required to properly drain the oil out of the housing. Through our innovative design, we've removed the use of the plastic check valve and replaced it with a simple plug to aid you in taking the oil out as well as ensure proper sealing. Before installing your new ECS filter housing, you'll have to remove the old oil filter bypass valve from your OEM housing. First remove your oil filter and simply pop out the old valve. After removing the valve, make sure to thoroughly wipe it with a clean rag. Now it's time to insert your seal. Take a dab of oil and lubricate it before inserting it into the housing. As you insert the seal, be sure it bottoms out by running your finger along the top side. To properly install your bypass valve insert, line up the inside ring of the insert with the groove between the two rings in the oil filter housing. After lining up your insert, the easiest way to snap it in would be seating it at an angle and using your hand to pop it in the rest of the way. For some customers who might find it difficult to seat the oil filter bypass valve insert, there's an alternative method of installation. First, line up your insert with the grooves on your billet aluminum oil filter housing. While firmly applying pressure, turn the housing upside down and set it on a flat surface. Use a rubber mallet to tap the insert in the rest of the way. It's important to remember that your insert is going to be permanently attached to your oil filter housing. As you'll notice, when you receive your oil filter housing from ECS Tuning, there's a label covering the drain plug hole. It is vital that you follow this torque recommendation in order to ensure that you properly seal the plug as well as avoid leakage. Now it's time to install your oil filter. Simply slide the oil filter down the insert and make sure it snaps in. The next step would be draining the rest of the oil out of the oil pan. Using a 14 millimeter wrench, remove the oil pan drain plug. After allowing the oil to drain out of the pan, reinstall your oil drain plug. Using your torque wrench and 14 millimeter socket, tighten down the oil drain plug to 22 pound foot of torque. Now
Now it's time to install your new oil filter housing. Using your hand, ensure the housing is snug. As I mentioned before, it's very important to use the right tools when doing your job, as well as follow the recommended torque specifications. The OEM filter housing was built out of plastic, so it was very vulnerable to cracks. Our new built aluminum housing was designed to eliminate that problem. Using your torque wrench, a 3 8 extension, and a 36 millimeter socket, tighten the housing down to the recommended 18 pound foot of torque. The next step is installing your oil filter housing drain plug. In order to do this, remove the label that came with your oil filter housing, but keep in mind the recommended torque specification of 22 pound foot of torque. Before installing your new drain plug, remove the old one and tuck the plastic wire into a secure place. Now it's time to install your new drain plug. Seat the copper washer onto the plug and screw it into the oil filter housing. To properly install the drain plug, use your torque wrench and 6mm Allen to tighten it down to the recommended torque specification of 22 pound foot of torque. This torque spec was designed to prevent leaks due to over tightening or under tightening your drain plug. Now you can fill your car back up with oil. After filling your car up with oil to the proper level and letting it idle, check underneath the car for leaks or any other problems you might see. If no problems are present, reinstall the plastic skin plate. The last thing you need to remember is to check your oil level frequently. I'm Mike with ECS Tuning, until next time.